Let's go ahead and get Kurt's question. How do you recommend structuring the maintenance business legally? Is it part of Everness corporate structure or separate entity? Also, what are the insurance considerations? Anything in addition to general liability? Yeah, Kurt, not an attorney. I did tell my wife I was going to be an attorney. That's why she married me. And then I became a property manager. I, call, I consider it one of the greatest bait and switches. But listen, we run our whole maintenance business underneath the Everness like corporate structure. Like it's not a separate company. We had we did break it out at one point and ran it as a separate company. Uh, our experience with that, especially the smaller you are, is it's just an administrative burden uh, on the business to to basically post transactions two and three times. Uh, so we would post it in our maintenance business, and then we would send an invoice to. Everness, and then we would post it in Everness, and then we would have to. You can imagine for every one transaction, you're just uh, doing multiple entries. And so we run everything under the same brand. We want our maintenance business to be a value add to our owners. And so far, in 12 or 13 years of doing this, every single one of our owners, I shouldn't say every single one, that's a pretty broad statement, but most of our owners do see it as a value add. And listen, th- My, again, my experience is it is a value add to them because here's how they should think about it is number one, if I take care of the resident, which I have more control of when I have more control of maintenance, then that resident is going to stay longer. The owner's biggest expense is not the water heater you have to replace. The owner's biggest expense is when that resident moves out, rent stops coming in, and then there's a lot of deferred maintenance that needs to be taken care of on the house to get that house rent ready. It's absolutely in, in a keeping the resident happy. That keeps the owner happy. The way you make money, the way our clients make money in this business is to keep residents in their house long-term. So it's a huge benefit to them. And then the last thing is it's a benefit to us. We make money doing it. But one of the great things is we can provide a tremendous value to our clients. They don't have to pay as much as if they opened the phone book and called a, a plumbing vendor or whatever because we're, we don't have all the extra additional expenses. And one of the ways to do that is not to have separate transactions that you're posting for the same transaction. From an insurance standpoint, all that falls under our same general liability coverage. The trucks that are out there are obviously insured as well. But again, urge you to double check that with your insurance company and your attorney.